Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Relentless, and I just want to say thank you for clicking on the video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about Sniper Elite 4. I'm so excited for this game. They just released a gameplay maybe about a month ago. So I'm going to sit here and break it down for you guys and see what I've noticed. And this is my opinion on it. And if you guys noticed anything that I didn't, please leave it down in the comments below. I'd love to make another video about it. And hopefully we can get some more teasers and more gameplays within the next month or two. So here we go. So the new features that I saw were there are shrapnel kill cams, destructible environments, very detailed map. It It's just ridiculous how detailed that map is. Detailed AI info. You can whistle now. Slimmer HUD. The ability to climb walls. Three times bigger map. X-ray combat, booby trap enemies, or dead bodies I should say, and scope zeroing. Now if you don't know what scope zeroing, scope zeroing is when you adjust your scope to the certain distance you're shooting at. If there's a target 500 meters out, you want to adjust your scope to 500 meters out so the bullet drop won't be as much. But I just want to sit here and maybe talk about each new feature in depth a little bit so shrapnel kill cams I'm surprised they didn't have this in sniper elite 3 it I know it may not have been possible on sniper elite 3 that's still a possibility but at least they could have had like some sort of um, explosion x-ray kill cam if they don't already I'm sorry um, I, it's nine o'clock in the morning and I'm making this video so destructible environment I think this is gonna be amazing for the sniper elite series it, it's just going to be just really fun to climb up to your special hiding spot that you know how to get up. And there's multiple ways of taking down targets. It's just going to be amazing. Very detailed map. Now this one I don't really have too much to say. I mean all they did was really um, put more detail into the map. But there's this little circle on the map. I'll show a picture of it right here. I don't know what it is. I don't know if that's the range of where enemies can hear you because then there's the actual map and then there's a smaller inner circle. I don't know if that's the range that they can hear you or the range that you're making noises. I don't know. Next you have uh, very detailed AI information. As you can see in this little clip right here, it shows what they did and uh, what weapons they have, what equipment they have. And it just shows a lot more detailed information than it did in Sniper Elite 2 and Sniper Elite 3. And in this game, you can whistle, which I think is amazing. You can actually draw people towards your voice instead of using rocks. Rocks were kind of hard because if you really wanted to draw someone towards you, you'd have to throw it on the ground. And I just think whistling is going to be fantastic and a new uh, feature that's going to help with a lot of snipers out there. Now the slimmer HUD I think looks, it looks really clean, it looks really sleek, it looks amazing, I love it. Now this one I'm kind of sketchy about, it's the ability to climb walls. I know they're going to add something a lot bigger than just shrapnel kill cams and all this stuff that I'm adding. But I think gameplay is really going to change and I don't know if some of the actual sniper elite fanatics are going to like that too much. But I'm still going to buy it no matter what. Three times bigger maps. This is one thing that they said in the actual video. They said that there's going to be three times bigger maps. Bigger map than Sniper Elite 3, at least. Um, the video that you're seeing now with this Italian town is three times bigger than any map in Sniper Elite 3, which I think is amazing. And X-Ray Combat. I think that just looks really cool and I hope they do combat right in this because I've gotten some sticky situations where combat really did not help in my case. Booby Trapping Enemies. I think this is a pretty cool idea. Thinking that you can like maybe stick a landmine under a body and when they go to move it, just that explosion would be awesome. And scope zeroing, I'm surprising they didn't have this in previous Sniper Elite games. I mean, if you're a sniper, it's kind of mandatory to have scope zeroing. And again, if you play Battlefield, you'll know what I'm talking about. Things that I noticed is, I'm going to zoom in on it right here. If you can see, by the little ammo um, pouch, 
It says drink it. I don't know what this means. I don't know if there's like a canteen uh, system where you can actually drink water or something to regain health or something or just calm yourself down. I don't know. And then inventory management. Now, I'm not really saying like actually have an inventory, but it seems like in Sniper Elite 3 that we could actually edit our inventory and we had to sacrifice certain things. Like if we wanted two grenades, we either had to sacrifice bandages or uh, AP ammo or just anything in general. We had to sacrifice something. And it seems like in this menu, we're holding everything in our inventory. So I hope that's not the case. I hope we have to go back to sacrificing what we want for what we need. And weapon stats. If you can see, this enemy died. He killed him using hand-to-hand -hand combat. And it shows the weapon stats. Now, I don't think that did that for Sniper Elite 3, and I know it didn't do it for V2. But I think this is going to be amazing if you want to compare your stats without actually picking up the gun. Then there you go. And some improvements that I think they could do is wall climbing. Now, if you can see in this clip right here, he falls, and I just think it's too... It, it's too like instant it's too quick and it's it just seems like if someone were to do that in real life and yes I know it's a video game anything is possible in a video game but if they're trying to go for realism here I don't think that's gonna be the case um, I don't think anyone can do that in real life and hang by just like fall grab and climb back up I don't think that's physically possible but if you guys enjoyed the video and you guys are getting sniper relief for it hit that like button because I'm definitely getting the game and I hope to see you guys in the next video.